Tenatato Kato, good evening. An East Coast community still reeling from the aftermath of Cyclone Gabrielle says out of control crime is re traumatising locals. Dartmoor Road in Puketapu was hit by a group of boy racers on Friday night, destroying cameras installed to protect the worst hit homes from looters. Perry Wilton has the story. They came at night, tearing up tarmac in one of the areas most ravaged by Cyclone Gabriel. Today, Michael Smith's picking up the pieces. It does look like a fair amount of damage considering that used to be all camera and now it's all wires. Dartmoor Road in Puketapu was hit hard by Gabriel. The scars here are still clear to see. But these fresh scars left by boy racers on Friday night speak to a new calamity hitting the East Coast community, crime. Nothing's been done, so the cameras seeing them destroyed like that after only a couple of weeks is pretty disappointing. We're a bit sick of it, but I don't know what we do. It's non-stop. There's always something going on. In the immediate aftermath, outsiders went through damaged homes to loot what remained. It probably went a little bit quiet for a while now. It's just, it's horrific again. These cameras were set up to capture criminals in the act, set up by Farmgate Security and paid for by the Pukitapu Cyclone Relief Fund, made up entirely of donations. Now, just a week after installation, some have been smashed to bits by boy racers. A lot of the community is quite fearful when they hear all the noise that goes on down here. They can't approach these members of the public because often they've been drinking and they can be spoken to violently or, or even assaulted at times. To make matters worse, police were called during the two-hour boy racer session, but they didn't turn up. What we find with police in rural communities, obviously very understaffed out here. It is having an impact because obviously of, of what this community's been through in, in the past year, and there have been a lot of break-ins, a lot of theft, uh, rustling. Just recently there was uh, 10 sheep stolen from down the road here. So it's, it's quite brazen. Mary's message to those responsible. Just think what before you do these things. It's, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm very upset about this and I can't believe that they would come and do it into, in a commute or anywhere, but in a community that's gone through so much and then go and start not only ripping up the road and scaring people, but wrecking cameras. It's, it's just, yeah, I've got no more words. No words for a community trying to cope with more damage. Perry Wilton, News Hub.